Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. I hope that you guys had a great Christmas or a great holiday as well as a good New Year's. Today's video is going to be a Christmas clean with me, basically an aftermath of Christmas. Actually, I filmed this on two separate days. This is right after Christmas, on Christmas day, after opening all the presents and cooking and not cleaning and just basically relaxing the whole day <laughs> and the kids just going absolutely crazy with all our new toys. But um, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I kind of feel like we need to reconnect. I haven't done a voiceover in a while, so it feels a little weird. Normally it doesn't, but anyways, um, so, First thing I'm gonna do is clear off this island because that's where we ended up dumping everything. Um, the kids, you know, had all their little toys. We have wrapping paper all over the place, boxes, candy, wrappers, you name it. It was everywhere. Um, and then I started just taking all the new toys to the playroom. This was before the kids took all of their presents to their rooms and organize them. I just, I had to go ahead and just put them in the playroom so I could clean up the rest of the house. Um, but actually the second part to this video is going to be me taking down all the Christmas decorations because that, you guys, was definitely an adventure because I took down everything by myself. Um, I don't know if many of you guys know this. You, some of you may know, some of you guys may not know, but Frank actually, um, when he got in his car accident, he tore his labrum and his shoulder and he actually has to have surgery in February to repair it. So it's been very hard for him to pick up things and do things. He is in immense amount of pain right now. So I have definitely had to take on more of the workload, which is fine. That is, you know, what you do when you are in a relationship. It's not always 50-50. And I know when I had my two surgeries, he helped out a ton. So um, anyways, <laughs> we'll get to that part in a little bit. Um, but yeah, just literally picking up and deciphering what is trash, what is toys. Um, one thing that I cannot stand, and let me know if you guys can relate to this, is toys that are super, super tiny. I try to avoid getting my kids little tiny toys because they just get lost and half the time I end up accidentally vacuuming them and then I feel like crap <laughs> for vacuuming up their new toys. Um, but I just, I can't do the small toys, you guys. But as you guys can see, just trying to get as much stuff off the floor so I can start vacuuming. So moving on to the second part of this video, taking down all the Christmas decorations. So Harlow actually helped me a lot and she took a majority of the ornaments off, but you guys, that's not even, <laughs> that wasn't even the hard part. And I will say it was very time consuming. This took about a whole day just to take down all the decorations, organize it in the boxes and everything. Um, but what was, oh, and here's the mystery car that was, I found in the tree. And then here's some of the ornaments that did not make it because, um, Fletcher loved to play with all the ornaments. But like I was saying, it, this wasn't even the hard part. The hard part was the Christmas trees. And usually I let Frank handle this, but because like I said, he can't even lift up Fletcher right now. Um, so it's hard for him to lift anything. And actually when he has his surgery, he won't be able to lift anything. I believe for six weeks. Um, but taking apart that twinkly Christmas tree, you guys are going to see me struggle. I struggled a lot. It is definitely easier to install. Um, but then also 
our other Christmas tree in the front room, the real Christmas tree, you guys know, the one that we were like, oh yeah, it's it's not doing so well because there was a huge crack and it wasn't soaking up water. Well, come to find out when we got back from our trip, the tree was like literally bone dry. So taking off the lights and the ornaments was definitely a fun, fun mess that I had to, I had to clean up so you guys will see that. Also, I just wanted to say this. It always feels like you took way more decorations down than you did put the, putting them up. I just was like, this is endless. Like I have to keep putting more and more decorations up. And I even thought that I was like a little bit low key this year with my decorations and it still took me all day to do this. That's why I'm like, when I see people fully decorate their house, like, first of all, how long did it take? And then how long did it take <laughs> taking it all down? Um, but now that my house is empty, I'm like, I don't know what to decorate. Like it's too early for spring, but I just had to get all the Christmas decorations out. It just felt even for me, even though I know I decorate kind of more on the minimal side, I would say. Um, it still felt like clutter to me. So now that I took everything out, it feels like I have nothing in my house and it's kind of sad. Uh, so I just have like a few pictures up now and basically no decorations out. So let me know what you guys usually do or do you just go right into decorating for spring? So the sad part about this is that I don't even know if those were the right pieces that go in the right boxes. I just assumed and <laughs> just pushed it in there as much as I could. Like it was already a struggle to get down. I was not going to struggle with it anymore. Um, I definitely have more of appreciation now that I am taking on more like I guess roles in the house. I have a bigger appreciation for Frank because he has to put up with all this hard stuff, like all this stuff, heavy things. But you know what, you guys, even though I doubted myself and I'm like, nope, this is normally something Frank does, guess what? I'm gonna get it done. And you know what? That's exactly what I did. I did it back down. I was like, I'm going to do this. So um, just really goes to show that it's mind over matter. Okay, I don't even know. Like, I'm just, I feel like I'm rambling at this point. I'm like, how did we get on this topic? Um, but yeah, those uh, command hooks, you guys, even though they are convenient, they are definitely not damaging free from your walls because I have, if you look closely, you guys have, will see, I have really damaged my wall with them, but um, it honestly beats using a nail every single time. Um, but we definitely have a few places that we could fix. Just telling you guys, as much as I brag about command strips and use and love their products, they're not as damage free as they market themselves to be. All right, so here's the process or the part of the video, I should say, where I have officially decided I hate real Christmas trees. I, you guys, I was so excited for this Christmas tree, but as soon as I started taking those lights off and the ornaments, it just started shedding. It was a huge mess to the point where I had to vacuum and re-vacuum and re-vacuum. Right now I'm just picking up the larger pieces. I know won't fit into the vacuum, um, but after this part, when I did start vacuuming, it kept clogging too. Um, so that was a whole ordeal in itself. I would say it took about an hour to an hour and a half just to do this whole process. So. Um, then I was quickly reminded like, why was I so excited for this again? Because you know, you don't think about after you get the fact, after you have the Christmas tree, when Christmas is over, you're like, okay, so what do I do with the tree now? Um, <laughs> that's where we were at, which we actually ended up burning it. I don't know if we were supposed to do that or not, but we ended up burning it in our fire pit. Um, but let me know, what do you guys do with your real Christmas trees when you're done with them? Do you just like put them in the woods somewhere or do you ha take them to the dump? What do you guys do with them? Do you burn them? <laughs> like what we did, <laughs> which I would not recommend doing that unless you know how to safely, um, you know, make a fire with it and everything because I did not realize because it's so dry how huge the fire was. I know I'm going on a tangent right now, but this is just, this was a whole experience and a little story time. Um, but yeah, super flames everywhere. So definitely be safe if you're going to do that. I just let Frank do it because you know, he's handled fires before. Um, 
you know, being an ex-firefighter. But now, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, uh, well, aren't they used to putting them out and not starting them? So, um, yeah, maybe <laughs> ours was a little bit on the extreme side. But um, anyways, OK, now moving on to uh, storing and putting away all of the ornaments on the kids tree. It's crazy is that while I was doing this, I was like, it feels like I was just doing this. Um, this last year has flown by. It is so scary. I just want time to slow down a little bit. Also, another thing that normally I would let Frank do is the vacuuming of all of our pillows because that's how I have been storing them now that I decided to wise up and get them because they were taking up so much space underneath my stairs in that little storage area. So this has definitely been a lifesaver and a space saver. Like I even want to use it for other things like linens and you can even use it for clothes. Um, but I figured it out all on my own. So give myself a little pat on the back because like I said, normally this kind of stuff would like intimidate me. I know it's so simple, but, um, like all the things that Frank would do, I felt like I couldn't do cause he always did them. Like I would psych myself out if that makes sense. And then I ended up being able to prove myself wrong. Oh my God, you guys, I didn't even realize that it was the end of the video. I feel like this went by so fast and I feel like I could have definitely gotten some more footage, but regardless, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Thank you.